In this video, you'll see how to generate views for an existing application with DevExpress scaffolding wizards. We've already prepared a basic application that works with a simple database with the Entity Framework Code First technology. The database contains only one table, Employee. Also note, there are two view models, Employee Collection View Model, which you use when working with the entire table, and Employee View Model, which operates with a certain record or adds a new record to the database. So, let's start generating views. First, run the DevExpress template gallery and select the Business Object View template. Next, let's run the scaffolding wizards and wait until the wizard is scanning the project. When the scanning is done, you can see the list of appropriate view models at the right part of the dialog. Make sure that the selected view model is correct and press Next. Then, check the name of the view and click Finish. The wizard is suggesting rebuilding the application. Choose Yes to make sure that everything is generated correctly. Now create the other view for the employee collection view model. Run the DevExpress template gallery again. And select collection view. Check that the selected view model is correct and continue. If the view name is wrong, correct it and finish the generating. So we've just created two views for the existing view models. Now we need to create a common view that will merge them and also a view model for this main view. We'll use a plain old c -sharp object, or POCO for short, mechanism, so we don't need to inherit the main view model, which means we can remove the inheritance and add the POCO view model attribute. Now let's create a command that shows a certain view. Since we'll use the iDocumentManager service for showing views, first we need to define a service. Then we can implement the command. Let's move on to the main view. All commands for working with a certain view should be integrated into the ribbon control. So, let's add it. The ribbon has been created with one predefined page group, which we don't need. So, let's remove it. Then, add the docking component in the MDI style. Change the docking representation mode from multi-windowed to tabbed. And since all our views will be integrated through the service, the two predefined documents are unnecessary. So, again, let's remove them. The show document command we created operates via the iDocumentManager service. We need to define this service in our view. Let's come back to the main view and open XAML to define the tabbed document UI service, a realization of the iDocument Manager service. To do this, first we need to add the DX MVVM namespace and assign the main view model to the view. Since the main view model is a POCO object, we need to use the view model source class to do this. Then define the tabbed document UI service inside the document group, because this element will contain child views. To show the employee collection view on startup, add a trigger that invokes the show document command when the main view is loaded. All that's left is to add the main view to the main window. So, let's do that and run the application. The application has started and the employee collection view has been shown. 
However, the edit and delete commands are disabled because these commands take a parameter, the selected row. We need to bind this parameter to the grid control. Open the Employee Collection View Designer and hover over the Edit button and open its Tasks menu. Since we'll use the Element Name binding, switch to a corresponding tab and search for the grid control. Next, select the grid control dot current item property to create the binding. Let's do the same thing for the other bar item, the delete button. And finally, run the application to make sure everything's working correctly. As it should, the saving operation works separately for the active tab. It means that if you change something in one tab and save the changes, the saving will only process the current tab. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.